All right, let's move to a team that's been in the playoffs for each of the previous 22 seasons, the San Antonio Spurs. The common denominator for each playoff appearance is Coach Pop. Back on Saturday, Pop was ejected for stepping on the court to argue a non-call. That's a very nice way to put it. Tim Duncan took over with Becky Hammond right by his side. That was the Spurs' fifth straight loss, their longest losing streak since 2011. Zach, is this it? This is the year we're going to put the nail in the coffin. They're dead. They're not going to make the playoffs. Forget about it. They're going to have to rebuild. They undertake a write up whenever we do this. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I thought I'm actually I'm not going to go there because I actually thought they would be better than this. I'm surprised yeah. how bad they have been. They're 24th in defense. Um, they just look bad and disorganized. And I, I, I actually thought with Murray coming back mm -hmm. and and I'd like to Demari Carroll saying I don't really know what's going on there. He hasn't played. I'm a little surprised how bad they are. But what scares me? Eight home games already yep. and a really easy schedule, and they're way behind the eight ball, and they stink with the Rosen and Aldridge on the court again, which is a problem that it was last year. See, to me, this is the first real transitional year for the Spurs. I know we just celebrated Tony Parker's jersey retirement, um, and they haven't been on the team. That core, the big three, is all, you know, is gone. But if you look at the way they're playing, they're changing their style of play, kind of. They're playing a little bit faster. They're still trying to find out what they have with their stars. LaMarcus Aldridge, DeMar DeRozan, those guys, they're not really locked in for the long term, so I think this is their exploratory period where they're trying to find, okay, DeJounte, how good are you? How are you going to help us? They don't have anything tied to the future, so this is the first time that pop system is evolving. And I'll even allude this to Stanford women's basketball. When I was at Stanford, um, we played triangle the whole time I was there. When my sister and I graduated, there was not necessarily a dominant post for the first time in a long time. Mm -hmm. They had to redo the system, and there were some times where, okay, you didn't make it to the Sweet 16, you didn't make it to the Final Four, but a couple years later, you find your new identity. This is the first time their system is really changing. And our coach, Tarvin to as a Hall of Famer, very similar to Pop. I, I, li I like your humble brag, by the way. Oh, you didn't have a dominant post presence. But it takes some time. Well, uh, there's also the triangle that you have to be smart enough to go to Stanford to run the triangle. Oh. Where did you go to school? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, can we talk, though, about the missed opportunity? Like, Tim Duncan was coaching that team, but there was a lot of there was a lot of confusion about who was right. the Voice. actual coach there. And I, I was following this. I, we tried to watch it on League Pass because we were at the Clipper game that night. And the, it was it was Becky Hammond had the clipboard, like, and she's the highest ranking assistant besides Pop. So it seems like that should have been her game. So she has the clipboard. Will Hardy's in there. Tim Duncan's there. Pop clarified afterwards that Tim was coaching the team because he had the Blazers scout, and so therefore he stepped okay. into that role. Um, but. I, you know, for a minute there, I was getting really excited, right? We had our first female head coach in the NBA, and then it wasn't. Um, and I and I I've processed this a little bit. I was I actually had, I had a chance to run into Lindsey Harding, who was who was uh, here with the Sacramento Kings the other night, and we were, we were talking about there's but there's ten female coaches female coaches in the league right now. Um, they're all assistant coaches, and Becky was the first, but now that there are ten, I think we have to be careful to not to always focus on the history and and remember like she needs to be treated and they all want to be treated the same way any assistant coach would be yeah. when the when you earn that opportunity when it's that when it's that moment where you're going to make the history that you've earned it and you're not just getting it because you were a woman and we're not focusing on that because you're a woman so i guess as much as i was disappointed i understand it because well, tim to, did have this to be honest with you ramon i remember when she was uh yeah. interviewing for the job in milwaukee and i said yeah. and people got on me because they were they thought i was trying to throw shade but i said this doesn't happen. Second row assistants yeah. don't get interviews. head coaching interviews. And there's a kind of stepping stone yeah. process. And I kind of respect that, you know, that that's what she's going through right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.